In this video, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how I generate articles and blogs with artificial intelligence that are getting my clients results like this, even throughout all of the updates that Google is making to the algorithm, we are still getting credible results with AI generated content. We started using this strategy uh, in January. And as you can see, all throughout January, February, March, we're starting to get a lot of traffic and we're ranking number one for a lot of keywords, long tail keywords, but specific keywords here. For example, um, is hemp oil good for eczema? This is the article in question that we written. I can't show you the client, but you know, you're just gonna have to trust me here. Uh, another one, they also sell lapis lazuli, which is a, um, a jewelry. This it's ranking number one for who should not wear lapis lazuli. Uh, what do colors mean in Aboriginal art? They also sell Aboriginal art and we're ranking number two here. For a lot of these very long tail specific keywords, we're ranking number one and is all AI generated content. Um, this is the Ahrefs backend, so you can look at it. Um, we're also ranking number one for a lot of variations of this keyword, Aboriginal patterns, hemp oil for eczema, number one, number one, number one. Um, you know, Aboriginal art, number one, and a bunch of other these things related to the products that they sell. This has drives traffic to the blog page, which then trickles down to the product page and generates them a lot of sales. So just to be very clear here, if, if you heard that, if you've been hearing that Google bans or blacklists AI generated content, this just isn't true. They ban spammy and content that doesn't add any value. But if you know how to write content correctly with artificial intelligence, you can still get great results. If you don't know me, my name is Nico. I run an SEO agency. I, I also run an online community called the AI Ranking and Automation Hub, where we teach you everything you need to know about AI powered SEO, search engine optimization, and how to automate a lot of these marketing tasks. Uh, we have access to the AI powered SEO masterclass, which is a six module. Um, each module, there's about six or two, eight videos um, telling you, teaching you everything you need to know about AI powered SEO. We also give you the prompts and the tools that we use there. You get access to that. You also get access to calendar meetings. We do live uh, weekly catch ups where you can to live Q and A. You can ask me any questions, um, and we're really just here to help you support you on your journey to learning how to use AI for search engine for search engine optimization and for AI powered automations to facilitate your work and your business and your life, whatever it is there. Link to that is in the description below if you want to check it out. This strategy is stupidly simple. You don't really even have to do any keyword research for it, um, but we do have to research certain components, um, but everything's kind of done for us. We're using two tools that will be free for what you need to use it for. The first tool is called Machine AI. This is just what's going to generate the content for us. And then we're using another one called People Also Ask. It just helps you find the frequently asked questions about a certain key word. Uh, so we're going to do the search first, and then we're going to give that information to Machined AI. It'll write the content for us, and that's pretty much it. So um, links to all the resources will be in the description below. First step is for you to go to also asked and put in the keyword that we are doing some research for. In this instance, we're going to use uh, the keyword for, we're going to use lapis lazuli, which is a jewelry. So lapis lazuli here, you want to make sure that you're selecting the right country where you want to do this search. It does change drastically. So make sure you've got that correctly. And we're just going to go search. When I give this a while, uh, I think they also they give you three free searches a day, which is more than enough for what you need. Now this is showing you all the frequently asked questions about that keyword, um, which we are then going to write a blog about. So each question is going to represent a blog. This starts helping you become the topical authority figure within the niche, within the keyword, which is what you need to do these days to be able to rank really well. We're going to download the results as a PNG file. And then we are going to go to ChatGPT because we need the specific questions formatted in a way that it's going to be very easy for us to give this to Machine Day AI. So I've, I've prepared a prompt for this. I'll leave that in the description below. It's very easy. Um, I've put the image there in ChatGPT4. I want you to organize the following questions into the following format. Question and then keyword. The keyword should be the main uh, keyword that the question would be targeting from an SEO perspective. Really, really simple prompt. You hit enter. It doesn't have to be too complex for what we're asking it to do. We just need the output in hopefully the format that we're asking it for. Perfect. So we've got here, what are the benefits of Lapis Lazuli? And the key word is Lapis Lazuli benefits, for example. So while that's loading and doing all the questions for us, we're going to go to Machined AI. Uh, link to, if you want to use this, is in the description below. 
I've already made myself an account. Uh, you do need your API key from OpenAI. I won't do a whole tutorial on how to do that. If you want me to do that, just leave it in the description below. For this, I'm going to assume that you kind of already set yourself up with machined AI. Uh, highly, highly recommend this. It's, it works really well. There's a lot of AI writing tools and AI auto bloggers. We've tried a lot of them. This is one of my favorites and has been given us incredible results over the past few months, even through all the Google updates drama. Anyway, once you create yourself an account, and again, if you want a tutorial on that, just leave it in the description below. Um, you're going to go to create a cluster. This allows you to create a cluster of content on mass interlinked already, which is fantastic. So we need to choose a topic. We're going to go jewelry and our keyword, which is lapis lazuli. The audience, I'm going to type in, um, let's say women above the age of 25 that are looking to learn more about lapis lazuli. You need to think about the audience and the one who's going to probably bring you the most um, income or conversions or whatever it is here. Here, I want the target audience to be someone that has the funds to buy this jewelry, probably women above the age of 25. The description for the audience can be very, very simple. It's just like this and it'll do its work, its, its work really well. The language, you're gonna be very specific. I wanna choose UK English. Now, you can just go autopilot and it'll do this whole thing for you without you doing some keyword research, but I wanna have a little bit more control here. I'm gonna to go to manual um, and it asks here to include the titles because I know the titles, I'm gonna select the questions as the titles um, and then have the keywords here. So I'm going to go here and I've just realized I need the actual keyword first and then the question. So I'm just gonna tell it to turn this around. So looking at machine AI, the way that it wants you to give you the keyword and the type and the article title is keyword, comma, title. Now we can go back to ChatGPT and just tell us to give us the output in that way. So we've got here spiritual meaning, wearing lumpy Leslie. We're gonna choose the first seven. You can do up to 50 of these blogs are all the questions, but for this tutorial, we're just gonna do seven. Gonna go back to machine AI and just copy it here. And now you can create the cluster because it knows the keywords and the article name or title for that keyword, create a cluster. Now it's gonna take you to this page where it gives you the overview of all the blogs that we are going to write. We're going to enable interlinking. This is gonna make sure that for example, this blog will be backlinking in one way or another to all the blogs and all the blogs will be backlinking throughout each other, which is really good for on-site SEO. You want them to backlink throughout each other. That's how you create this cluster of content. Uh, the model, we're gonna choose Turbo. I like that uh, a little bit more than 3.5. The length, I'm just gonna go medium for this instance. And that is pretty much it. You can also get it to create images with DALI. Um, the image style I'm gonna leave as it is so that you have your feature image for your blog already done. Now I'm going to click this button up here which selects all of the articles. It still hasn't written them. Um, you can do research and select the information that you want the article or a machine AI to use to write the article. We can do that in a in a next tutorial. Again, leave it in the comments if you wanna see that. I'm gonna leave everything as is. Uh, you can change the perspective, the tone of voice, professional and pathetic to meet your tone of voice for the company. I'm gonna leave it as neutral for now. And I'm gonna go through here, action and write seven articles. You'll see the queued here and you'll see start seeing the writing section here. Now you're gonna give this a couple of minutes to kind of write everything and interlink, it, and interlink it as well. I'm gonna come back when this is all done and show you what the articles look like. Cool, now with all of the articles nearly done already, I can show you what they look like. So for example, is it okay to wear lapis lazuli? Can I wear lapis every day? That seems like a good one. I'm gonna click the read button and it's gonna show me a preview of what this looks like. So <laughs> they're cooking lapis lazuli. I might have to make that again, but anyway. So this is the meta description for the blog and it gives you the amount of keywords that it's read. Uh, exploring lapis lazuli, we go down. These that are under, under, underlined is referring to the, the other blog that we've written within this cluster that it's linking to. So it's really good. Uh, wearing lapis lazuli. This is a table format, which is really good. It's really changing the type of content and how we read it, making it a lot more uh, fun to read and give it a lot more variations. And um, yeah, now the only thing that you would need to do here is add a few more images throughout the blog or add your product images throughout there. Depending on which CMS you use, you can automate all of this stuff. And now I've got 
seven blogs that are interlinking with each other. So from an SEO perspective, it's really nice. But not only that, it's blogs that are answering people's questions. So it's answering the user intent, meaning that it's adding value to the reader. Uh, machine AI is pretty complex in the way that it works and does the whole search for you for that keyword and kind of takes the best of different parts and and writes the blog for you. The what you can do now, uh, what you can do now is actually a bunch of other things. They've got a um, a really easy to use webhook, so then I can send these blogs to a website. I can send them to a Google Sheet and then give it to my copywriter to just read through the blogs and make sure that it's okay or really whatever I want. Um, they also once you read it, they've got a copy section here. Go copy. I can copy the entire blog as it is, I can download the markdown, I can download the HTML, I can, I can download the feature image as well. This is pretty much the entire strategy we have used over the past few months. You know, very little keyword research, we find the right blogs, the right questions that people are asking. Um, and remember that the, the search intent for that is to, to provide information for the reader, but then they'll come a couple, they'll come a couple of times back to the website and make the purchase. And we've seen the purchases increase for this client's website. Very little keyword research done here, some keyword research and some of the questions that people are asking, but this helps you turn into the topical authority figure and start ranking. How long this strategy is going to last and work, I'm not really sure, but for now it's working really, really well and our clients are very, very happy with the results. A lot of people ask me, well, is this really ethical? You're not really doing any research and adding any value to the reader and there's definitely is an argument for that because you're just automatically generating the content, um, but it's working for now and you know, I'll leave that up to you. This isn't a video about that, but this is getting really good results and I wanted to show you this. I'm here to share with you the stuff that's working, whether it's you think it's kind of good or not, this stuff really does work. Again, if you wanna learn how to do this stuff and more strategies and all about SEO, I encourage you to join us in our online community. If you want me to go further into detail about machined AI and how it works and how you can connect it, how you can set it up correctly, uh, leave it in the comments below and I'll get to it as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, cheers.